Peace, everybody. What's good? It's our boy, Coach Malachi Williams, and you are now tuned to True Media Today USA Boxing. Let's go. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble. All right, everybody, check this out. Um, I just got through listening to an interview that Teofimo Lopez gave, I think it was, it was on Talk Sports, and Teofimo Lopez still seems kind of bitter. We do know that Teofimo has a fight coming up with Josh Taylor next weekend, um, but he does seem kind of bitter as it relates to how he feels that he's being treated in the sport of boxing. He feels that no one is respecting his uh, quote-unquote ESPN and top-ranked undisputed status. You know, he's talking about Devin Haney, and he brought up the fact that he's questioning Devin Haney's undisputed status because we do know that Devin Haney is a real undisputed champion. If you look at all of the, uh, look at the Boston historians, what's on record outside of ESPN. We know ESPN have their own undisputed list and then the boxing world, meaning the people who have keep, keep the official boxing records and stuff like that, they have the real undisputed list. So we're not talking about ESPN, we're talking about the real. So, uh, you know, Teofimo Lopez has the issue. He asked the interviewer, how did Devin Haney get that, get that belt? And he's talking about the WBC belt. And he feels that because Devin Haney didn't fight for the belt, uh, that he doesn't deserve to be undisputed. And the guy broke it down. He said, well, he was elevated to the belt because, you know, Lomachenko was elevated to the French fries belt. So when Lomachenko, when they created a belt out of thin air that never existed, they created a French fries belt for Lomachenko and elevated him. And the belt that Lomachenko fought for, the WBC strap, you know what I mean? You know, according to the intern rules, if the champion refuses to or can't fight, defend his title against his against the intern champion, which was Devin Haney at the time, then the intern champion will be elevated to that belt. That's what happened. So Tiafimo is questioning that. As a matter of fact, don't listen to me. Let's see what Tiafimo has to say. I'll tell you this, man. Cause I know you always keep the you always posting on Twitter. You get the you get the insights and stuff. I'll tell you like this: like, how did Devin Haney receive that belt? Get the WBC belt. Yes. Vasily Lomachenko was upgraded to franchise champion. He was upgraded from interim champion. But did he fight for that belt? No, he was upgraded. He fought for the interim belt against Zara Abdullayev. And then so is that, technic is that considered a guaranteed actual championship belt if you haven't fought for it in the ring? You know, they did this to me, Michael. They did this to me back in the U.S. Olympic trials of 2006, no, 2015. In 2015, I won the U.S. Olympic trials for USA in the Olympics, for the Olympics, for 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. I won it. I earned it in Reno, Nevada. Go back to the go back to Aiba, go back to whatever. You see the list. Shakur Stevenson, Nico Hernandez, Antonio Vargas, uh Gary, Gary Russ, you know, Gary Russell, the whole the whole thing, the whole nine. Teofimo Lopez was on that list. And you know what they did with that? They gave me a damn piece of shit metal, gold, right? But it wasn't gold. It was gold, you know, nice little small metal. Says one thirty two pound winner. They pushed me to the side, and then they put this other guy named Carlos Baderas, right? And they put him in there, in the ring, while I had to sit there and watch after winning the U.S. Olympic trials, crying at 18 years old, and seeing them do the political shit that they do in this sport. So same thing comes today. I earned it. I won it. I did what I had to do against all the odds, when it takes all, and again it happened. And again it happened. I earned everything I had earned, and somehow, some way, they just put a little motherfucker in there. So as you guys heard, uh, Teofimo Lopez has an issue with Devin Haney, how he won the belt, stuff like that. Some would say Devin Haney fans feel that maybe Teofimo Lopez feeling kind of salty. He has some kind of, he feels bitter. I think, I think what it is is Teofimo Lopez is going through something. You know, he's going through divorce. He's going through an issue with his wife, divorce. He's saying, he said that, um, you know, he's going through issues. You know, his his wife, his, his wife is going to take half of his money. This was in another interview. This is an actual article that I have that I'm looking up right now. 
you know, he spoke he spoke about that in the interview as well, about what he's going through, his personal issues going into the Josh Taylor fight. Um, every fighter has personal issues. So whatever issues you're having, every human being on the planet Earth has personal issues. Uh, well, well, welcome to the well, welcome to being alive, partner. Welcome to the fight game, partner. That's what happens. You're going to have personal issues. Everybody's going to go through their issues. It is what it is. But as it relates to Devin Haney, it does seem that Tiafimo feels kind of salty. Tiafimo, you know, he's you know he's very bitter. He feel like the boxing world should be worshiping him at his feet. He feel like that the boxing world should be like, hey, Tia Fimo, you're the greatest fighter in the world. And I think it's because he's been drinking his own Kool-Aid. You know, the worst thing that ever happened to Tia Fimo Lopez was that he beat Vasily Lomachenko. When he beat Vasily Lomachenko, that was the worst thing that ever happened to him. He has not been the same since. You know, his ego has gotten out of control. He, he thinks he's the greatest fighter on the planet. You know, and there's nothing wrong with that if you feel that way. You know, team takeover, you lose to George Cambosos. You know what I mean? Devin Haney took care of him twice. People say that George Cambosos, he's a C-class fighter and stuff like that. And that's fine if you feel that way. But guess what? The C-class fighter beat uh, beat uh, Teofimo Lopez. Irregardless of what you say, what excuse you have for Teofimo Lopez, that C-class fighter beat Teofimo and Devin Haney beat that and beat that C-class fighter, George Cambosos, for those who say that. So um, Teofimo Lopez got some serious issues going on right here. He can't get over it. Dude, you are ESPN Undisputed Champion. You're not the real Undisputed. You're not on that list. When you look at the list of Undisputed Champions, Tiafima Lopez, you know, in the Four Bell era, when it counted, in the Four Bell era, it's Bernard Hopkins, 2004, Jermaine Taylor, 2005, 12 years later, Terrence Crawford, 2017, um, 2018, Alexander Usyk, 2021, Josh Taylor, 2021, uh, Canelo Alvarez, if I'm not mistaken, 2022, Jamel Chalo. Right after Jamel Chalo. Uh, 2022, Devin Haney. 2022, Anuay the Monster. That, those are the nine guys, if I'm not mistaken, in the four belt era, the nine men in the four belt era. I'm not including women. I don't want nobody saying, what about the women? I'm not including women. They are excluded from what I'm talking about right now. You're not on that list. You know, know George Cambosos is on that list. Now, ESPN, they probably have you and George Cambosos on there. I wouldn't doubt that, but outside of that, you're not on there. Outside of ESPN, the top rank, you're not on there. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, Teofimo is questioning Devin Haney's undisputed. Well, if he didn't fight for the belt, technically, he really ain't, he really ain't no, he really wasn't no WBC champion. And so that means that he really ain't undisputed. And if that's how you feel, and if you T.O. fans, that's how you feel, there's nothing wrong with that. I just feel like, you know, hey, man, you know, Teofimo, you got to get, bro, you got to let it go, dog. You got a fight coming up with Josh Taylor. You need to be focusing on, on that boy from Scotland, Josh Taylor, because he ain't coming to play with you. You got to let it go. Whatever whatever mental issues you're going through, and, it, you know, like father, like son, his dad seems kind of cuckoo for Coco Puffs, T. Diddy, and, and Diddy Bob, T. Fimo Jr., seems the same way. You know, you have a problem with top rank, saying they're promoting black fighters. The same top rank that a lot of people accuse of not knowing how to promote black fighters, now you're saying that they are focusing on and promoting black fighters. So which one it is? Is top rank not don't promote black fighters or they promote black fighters? So y'all got to make that up. I mean, you know, make make your mind up on that. Make that make sense. As it relates to Tia Fimo, man, you got a fight coming up, bro. You know, um, hopefully you and Devin Haney will be able to fight at 140. And you can y'all can settle the beef, whatever you have, fam. But let it go, dog. It's over with. You know what I mean? It's over with. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. This is about Coach Malachi Williams signing out. True Media Today, USA Boxing. See you guys later on. You know my motto. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Peace. Man, I'm out of here, bro. Let's go. Come on.